You know what? What if every droplet of rain were a bullet that could kill you? Oh, come on. That's that's how they came up with the idea of bullet hell shooters. Hello, and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I mentioned making this video a little while back, but I wanted to use an arcade stick, which actually has this character from this game, Toho Project. Now, this is actually the sixth game in the series, but the previous games weren't actually on Windows. They were on the, what's it called? It's like the... NEC PC 9800 and in fact my friend really wanted me to play this so I actually went to Akihabara This was like eight or nine years ago truth be told I actually bought this arcade stick a long time ago You probably remember the video when I actually got this stick But I just thought if I'm gonna buy a big arcade stick I may as well get one that has a cool anime character on it so let's get straight into it. It's the embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Again, it's the sixth game in the series, but apparently it's the first one that you can jump into natively on PC. Now I tested the game earlier, but I haven't played it properly. It's all I know really is that you can shoot, you've got a bomb, and that you need to collect the little power-ups. I'm gonna choose this character or this character. I'm just gonna go with the default character, and I'm assuming this is some kind of power-up that you can choose, but I'm just gonna go default everything at the start. And we're in. All right, so. Holding down the shoot button, well something I did notice while testing it is that if you tap the shoot button once, it does shoot like a number of times for you. So you can actually just tap it once and it will shoot out a little wave of these bullets. Or you can hold down the button and it will just constantly shoot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and collect as many of these power-up cards as possible because, again, as we played some of the spin-off Toho Project games, I know that one of the major features in this game is that you can get them to, you can get the character to collect these power-ups automatically but not in this game. Like, apparently you need to like get power level to max, and at the moment I'm like power level, what? It says 21 there in the corner. So I don't actually know what exactly is involved when that happens. I think maybe I need to move to the top of the screen to automatically collect stuff, but I haven't reached that point yet. In fact, <laughs> are we on the boss? Is this the boss? That was the shortest level of all time. Or is this like a mid boss? Okay, that, that seems like a mid boss. Okay, so I'm gonna collect more and more of these power ups, and I assume, as you can see, the shots have actually evolved. I've actually got three spread shots here in the middle and I've got, looks like it's homing in. Maybe that's what it was choosing at the beginning of the game. It was choosing whether you want the, those little blue lasers to, <clears throat> blue bullets to home in on enemies even if you're not nearby them. So I'm just going to continue collecting as many of these things as possible. And one video I did check out on YouTube, I was just like, let's look up some Toho project. And someone was saying that one of the things about Toho Project is that it's less about ultimate, ultimate difficulty and it's more about having like very specific situations and they've got all these spell cards and people memorize all the all the patterns and all that. I think this was all done by the original creator who goes by the name of Zun, but these characters are so well loved that people ended up making, you know, all of their own fan works and I think pretty much 85% of Comic is basically just these two, <laughs> just these characters from this one series. Don't quote me on that number, it's probably incorrect. There are three buttons, right? You've got the shot button and the bomb button, but you've also got the slow movement button. So as you can see, like those little Pokeballs attached to my character, you can see that they're moving up and down like this. When I go into focused mode, whoa, whoa, what are these lasers? Yikes. These Pokeballs move up to the front when I'm in focused mode and that helps me move more slowly. I don't know if that actually makes my shot stronger though. It seems to be, seems to be the same to me. But again, you know, there's all sorts of stuff happening. I just, whoa, I feel the happy. Wah! Yes, all right, so I beat the boss. So I did try to install this game when I bought it like eight or nine years ago, but I remember I was having a lot of trouble. I was like, I didn't really have a gaming laptop or gaming PC back then. I was mostly on my Mac. And I didn't have the, the right controllers and I wasn't playing a lot of games. I was like unboxing a lot of games. And actually it wasn't until like three or four years later that I actually started a, a YouTube channel. Now that I've actually gone in and said, okay, look, I want to learn actually what's going on in this game. Just like I've been doing with a lot of fighting games like Undernight in Birth or Street Fighter, instead of just jumping in, making a quick 10 minute video, I, like recently it's been more important to me to actually learn the ins and outs and understand what makes this game so much fun by actually learning the systems. And I've been doing that with, you know, like I mentioned, Street Fighter and Undernight in Birth and all sorts of fighting games as well. But I want, to, I really, I really want to learn more about Puyo Puyo. I really want to learn more about these scrolling shoot-em-up games, especially these Toho Project games, because once you get into this, like, 
there's a whole world of other Toho Project games you can play. All the spin-off games, all the other scrolling shoot-em-up games, all of the RPGs, and I think there's even a Toho Project fighting game, which I haven't actually tried yet. And, uh, it's getting harder. Oh, here's something I did here on the internet. You can essentially, if the enemy is firing bullets that home in on you, well, I say home in on you, they're aimed at you, then as long as you move a little bit, then they'll miss because they're aimed at you, but at the point of being shot. But if you just keep tapping, tapping in your direction, then you, you're just constantly changing your position, and the the aiming will will miss. That's basically it. That's basically all the research I did. Oh, oh, oh. What are those white things? Can I get hit by them? I'm not at max power yet. I don't know what max power is though. Is it a hundred? I don't know. If, I can't remember what the values are in this game. What is grays? Oh wait a minute. Don't you get extra power ups for? Getting close to bullets, that's a common thing in these games, right? So I'm sure there's some really fun, exciting story going on here, but I'll, I'll get into the lore some other time. Wow! Whoa, it's moving more quickly! Those bullets move really fast. Okay, so I'm, I'm trying to take advantage of this whole tapping the direction to- Oh! <laughs> Ah, I got hit! Okay, sorry about the- there was some noise outside. I had to pause the game briefly and I ended up losing a life in the process, but let's see if I can not- Oh no! I died. I'm gonna continue. Even though I'm sure that's super shameful in, in a game like this, where you're supposed to ideally not- Oh, I'm in full power max mode! Wait, I wanna try this- this auto cut. Yes, it works! Okay, so when you get into power max, I think one of the benefits is that you can now collect- collect power-ups automatically by- scrolling myself up to the top of the screen, except what are the power-ups? I mean, now that I'm in full full max power, what, what else do I need to collect? Ooh, rainbows! That's pretty. Oh no, I'm scared of things where they- Oh no, what am I doing with my life? Ha, 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 ha. Come back! Oh no, all my power-ups! I need to build them up again. When, this, when the screen freezes like this, I, I panic because I know that they're gonna come back to life eventually. Like that, like now. Oh wow, it's out! <laughs> I need, I need, I need a second run at this. This seems to be fairly easy if I just don't move around too much. But yeah, you never know when the- Oh! <laughs> Christ. So yeah, this is really just my experience version- Ooh! I actually beat the second level. I say beat. I, I lost like all my lives doing it. But I just want to experience the game without too much research. And then I think for future videos, I'll look up more of the strategies. And that's what, that's what I really want to do. Not just be like, oh yeah. I played Toho Project once. What I really want to do is understand it and understand why people love this game so much and understand why the creator made so many of them. Because it's one thing to just make a one-off game that was, oh, that was kind of fun. But like, clearly the creator was really into this and clearly the fans were really into it and they, they were ask, clamoring for more and more. Oh, I've got Power Max, so I can just collect them automatically. Sweet. Oh, wow, look, at Power Max, my homing bullets literally do all the work for me. Easy peasy. Oh, I lie. It's not easy. What's going on? Help. And this music is fantastic. It's just melody after melody after melody. Oh no, what am I doing? I am really... Oh, that is so hard. <laughs> How are you supposed to play this? Move a little bit to the side. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> It's impossible. It's impossible. What was that? Oh god, I'm sweating. Let's see, what did I learn? I think maybe for a future video, what I might do is I might try on a gamepad and see if it's easier to make micro movements with, with my thumb. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to try it again and let's see if we've actually learned a little bit more since we now kind of vaguely understand how the, the game works. You know what, we should try hard mode. Let's try it. Let's just jump straight into hard mode and then I won't even play it properly, but we'll try Lunatic later as well. Hard mode, let's go. How hard? How hard could it be, right? It's just a video game. I wish my character would move more quickly. I heard that maybe the other character moves more quickly. Oh my goodness. I'm sure this is, I'm sure that this is actually not hard, but when you've never seen it before, completely brand new to the game, it's like, what is going on? Kind of scary. Okay, I'm gonna try and stand here in the middle. This seems like a good spot here. And uh, how's her health? What? She's got two health. She's got two health gauges. What's that about? I'm not down with that. <laughs> I think I think panic breathing. Like, oh, I I'm pretty sure that this is the sort of game where. Oh no! I was just about to say. I think this is the sort of game where hyperventilating definitely makes you better 
I think it improves your performance. There's something very, what's the word, flow state about this game, where every now and then you kind of forget that you're actually playing the game. You're like, oh my god, my hands are moving, but I'm not, I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Okay, stand still, stand still, safe. So I'm, every now and then I'm holding down this, this focus button to make sure I don't get hit by stuff. <laughs> Uh, oh, this, okay, okay, so this slight tapping sideways, that worked there. I can't believe I got... Sometimes I end up in the corner, I'm like, oh god, I'm locked in the corner, now what do I do? What, what, what really gets me at the moment as a beginner right now is when there's multiple types of shot on screen at the same time. When there's like a circular spray of bullets, that's fine. When there's homing stuff, that's fine. But when there's like a circular spray and homing stuff, then I'm like, what do I do now? I don't remember any of these characters' names. It's been so long since we played. It's been so long since I Oh, come on. Give me a break. I was trying to chat. It's been so long since I played that that other game on the Switch. I don't Oh, what? So, using no continues, I was able to get to I think this is the main boss of level 2. Oh, what did I cancel? <laughs> I actually tried to I tried to continue, but I I just Press the button thinking it was <sighs> five million points. That was hard mode, but you know what's next. It's time to play lunatic mode. All right, as the last challenge of the day, before I go away and actually watch some YouTube videos and learn how to play this game properly, I'm gonna go into lunatic mode. I'm gonna use the same character just because I want to key stay, stay consistent so I can actually compare. But I think maybe in future videos, I'll try the other character and again, I'll have done some research and actually figured out how to use things like the bomb. I actually haven't used the bomb at all. It's in lunatic mode. How hard could it be? Easy peasy. Can't tell if this is harder. It all still seems... Oh, okay, this is definitely harder because I'm like having... I like don't know how to get any of the cards. Usually I'm able to move around quite freely and collect these, these power cards, but that time I was like... There were like no gaps. Maybe I need to just stay in one place so that the power cards <gasps> fall down to me without me having to move away. Oh, like this? That seems to work. Oh, but then my homing my homing laser is collecting cards for me in other places. Alright, Lumia, I'm ready. Alright, focus mode. Oh wait, maybe I maybe I need to be not in focus mode. I don't know. <gasps> What is the benefit? What is the benefit? Oh, focus! <gasps> okay, this is- <laughs> What the actual F? There's no way. Come on. What was that? I'm continuing. Since I've got the choice. Full power mode. Eat this. Okay, staying here in the middle seems okay so far. Not dead yet. Nice. So we got the first life bar. Oh, those lasers look like homing. Okay. Homing. Aiming. Get out of here. Do I do more damage if I'm closer? I assume. Well, actually, that doesn't make any sense. It depends on how the system works. Ah, get me out of here. I'm gonna stay in the middle. What is happening? Nice, we did it. Let's keep going. I just want to see more of what lunatic lunatic level is, is like. Oh man, there are bullets bloody everywhere. I can't see anything. It literally, this is what? Whose idea was this? Well, I mean, it was Zin's idea, I suppose. But who, who came up with the very first scrolling shoot 'em up game? Whoever had this idea must have been like looking up at the sky, you know? Like looking up at the sky, crying and thinking, you know what? What if every Every droplet of rain were a bullet that could kill you. Oh, come on. That's that's how they came up with the idea of bullet hell shooters or bullet curtains, which is, I think, the correct translation for this. <laughs> wow. Oh, hey, hey, the, the slowly moving to the side thing worked that time. Okay, full power mode. Give me all the power-ups. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this would be easier without an arcade stick because there's so much, there's so much, what's the word, throw distance before your stick actually activates the, the switches. I wanna see what these bombs actually do. So let's just do it right now. What? What's happening? 
Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. It turns all of the- Oh, come on. I think it turned all of the bullets on the screen into either power-ups or something. Like, just now? Those- whatever those grey cards were. When I'm in trouble, I'm going to do it again. Oh, I was going to press it, but nothing happened. Let's continue one more time, I think. <laughs> I'm just gonna use these bombs like crazy. These two tons of the- Oh, she's not dead? Are there vocals for the- Oh, God. It's a very vocal style melody, isn't it? I wonder if that's what he was thinking when he composed the music. He was just like- yeah, I'm gonna write- I'm gonna write some background music that sounds like a vocal track so that one day I can get actual voice actresses and voice actors to- to sing the music for me. Okay, okay, what's gonna happen? Oh, I hate this! Just like I was mentioning before, I don't like when the bullets freeze and then they come back to life! Bomb time! It really frustrates me that I can't look up at what the enemy's actually doing. I have to- Oh, oh come on! I just, I tried so hard, but got so far. Okay, let's do it. Let's do the final continue. Just so that we can actually complete this. And get a little bit further. Done. No, I do not want to be part of this. <laughs> There's like, it gets to a point in, in a lot of games where you're no longer focused on one specific thing. You're able to like, defocus your eyes and look at lots of things at the same time. Oh, man. For me, it's only happened once this whole session. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. They're moving slow. What happened? What? I, I don't even remember again. <laughs> Ab kadef g jekyll manap kristuvitz's end. Continue stay do tame replay wa hozon dekimasen. How harsh! The game's like, because you used a continue, you're not allowed to save the replay. <laughs> That's so mean. So this is it. This is the start of the Toho journey. Hopefully I can actually find a way to get the original versions of all the games because I've only got this I've only got this one game and those spin-off games on the Switch, but I'm pretty sure I can buy them on Amazon. I think you basically you have to like buy the game, download the updates, and then you just make it work on Windows 10. I have really enjoyed this. This is something I would like to be able to carry around on my Switch. It's just a shame, I don't understand why these games aren't available more widely. Like I know that other more like later versions of these games are available on Steam, but wouldn't it make sense to have like one of the most popular ones, you know, one of these original ones like the, like this one, the first one that was released for Windows. Why well, I wonder why they don't convert this to put it on Steam. Seems like a missed opportunity, but Hey, it is. I don't know if it's still just the one guy. He's probably quite busy. Essentially, this is something I've always wanted to do. I, I've owned the game, but I never really played it properly because it was like difficult to install. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to get it installed so I can make this video. And hey, it's been fun to actually find out who the heck this character is because she's the main character of this game. And I've had her on my arcade stick for like three years and I had no idea really, I'd not say no idea. I didn't really understand who she was. So this has been good fun for me. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at Toho Project. I'd love to play more of the future games and I'm gonna try it on gamepad and what I really want to do is do more stuff like this for other games as well like I was saying for Puyo Puyo or maybe for other fighting games that I've always played but never quite understood games like I don't know I've always enjoyed playing Tekken but never really understood what was going on like until now I've played the games like Undernight and I was just like yeah this is a cool fighting game with anime characters but I never really understood what made it unique and what made it so special and by delving deeper into certain games, it's, I feel like I've finally given it that chance that it deserved, you know, a chance to be understood properly as opposed to on such a surface level, which is something that I just think happened quite naturally because I started this channel four or five years ago and essentially to, I was unboxing a load of games and trying them all for maybe like 10 minutes, but I, was, I just, you know, new games just kept coming out, new exciting stuff kept coming out and I was just buying all this stuff, but I wasn't really getting my teeth sunk into the real grit and I'll say grit meat of these games. So look forward to more Toho content, but also look forward to more in-depth content where I'm trying to sink my teeth into other games and understand them better. I don't have a name for the series right now. I guess sink my teeth sounds good, but it doesn't really have much of a, actually it doesn't have much of a ring to it. And also it doesn't really tell you exactly what kind of video it's going to be. Anyway, if you're interested in seeing more, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're on the app, there should be a button somewhere. If you're on the browser, you should be able to click subscribe, click the notification bell so it actually lets you know when new videos come up. 
If you want to follow me on Twitter, there's a link below for that. If you want to see me streaming, I would love to actually stream some of this. The reason I haven't really streamed this before is because <clears throat> How do you play a game where you're like so focused on the screen that you have no time to look at the chat? I, I don't think this, I, I assume this is quite a difficult game to, to stream. Whereas with fighting games, like to an extent, like while I'm playing, I can kind of look at the chat and I can still kind of see what's going on, on on the fighting game battle. So if you want to see some live streams, do follow me on Twitch or here on YouTube as well, because I'm planning to do more live streaming here on YouTube. We did one last week, actually, and that was good fun. It was a lot of fun streaming on YouTube again. And last but not least, if you want to come and hang out on the Discord and talk about anime, manga, games, drawing, Japan, whatever, you name it, there is a link below in the description box. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.